Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 13 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. I am back in New York, so <clears throat> hopefully the, the videos, the explanations, everything will be more consistent, better, and all these things. Um, I'm still really behind on my Instagram stories, though, so if you want to follow and you are curious, I'm still technically in Latvia right now. Uh, my Instagram stories, and I got an update for the next, like, two weeks or something, but if you're curious about that, check that out. Anyway, I, today, let's take a look at today's farm. Uh, I, I'm a little bit jet lagged. I got to fight earlier today, but I'm just, like, in and out in terms of, like, sleeping. But let's take a look at today's farm. Today, we have 33, 35 total characters in string after transformation one. You're given a string S and an your T represent the number of represent the, uh, number of transformation to perform. In one transformation, every character in S is replaced according to the following rules. If the character is Z, replace it with the string AB. Otherwise, replace it with the next character in the alphabet. A is B, da da da. Return the length of the resulting string after exactly T transformations. The numbers can be very mild, uh, very large, remember the modern. Okay. So first, we, let, let's put the mod up there, right? Um, I think the, the key thing about this problem is to realize that, um, well, actually, let me see real quick. Okay, T is 10 to the 5th, and what that means is that we could do a for loop with T, right? I mean, that's the biggest thing, and you don't have to, per se, in the sense that there is a, a more com a complicated uh, solution, which I suspect is tra uh, transform 2. Uh, but and maybe we'll get it tomorrow. I don't know. Then but maybe we'll go, go with that solution. But if you want to, you can probably find find that solution online anyway. Uh, I mean, like that. I, I probably have that video already. And the key thing to note is that the input string <coughs> one is that the order doesn't matter, right? Um, yeah, the order doesn't matter, and it just matters w what characters you have, right? And basically, yeah. Uh, that's basically it, right? And if you keep track of, uh, if, if you keep track of one character and you transform them one at a time, well, that's going to be O of n each time, and O of n each time times t, n times t is too slow, of course, right? But if you, but you only you only have twenty six unique characters, so as a result, all you have to do is just keep tr track of the twenty six characters and how many ca times they appear, and that should be good. So yeah, so without uh, doing that much more crazier, let's let's try, right? So here, maybe we, we do a for loop to t, right? Is that a t or t minus one? Maybe I don't know, right? So f is equal collection is that a kind of s? So we do a thing, right? Um, yeah, there's a couple of ways you can write it, right? But basically, we want for c in f dot keys, right? Mm, yeah, okay. Right, so if C is equal to Z, maybe you can write, uh, okay, right, new F is equal to collections that counter, uh, right, and then now new F of A is equal to, to F of C, new F of B is equal to F of C, right, otherwise, New f of like c plus one is equal to f of c, right? That's what you kind of want. Of course, uh, c is ca character slash string, so you have to kind of um, massage it a little bit, right? So you have to convert it to this, and then you have to convert it back to the character, something like that, right? And then at the very end, uh, oh, n is equal to an f, and then now at the very end, we just return sum of um, f dot values, and we should be good. Unless we're not. Uh, expected five. Hmm. Oh, 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 this should be a plus. Yeah. I mean, I guess this don't need to be a plus, but you can go from A to B, right? So that's actually pretty bad on my part. Really lazy. Uh, and maybe we could just also just keep it here like this. I think technically the order makes it a little bit awkward. But yeah. Ooh. I forgot to mod. <laughs> I, uh, I put the mod up here and I just forgot. Uh, I usually, oh, I was going to say I usually do return mod, but then I, 
I blame it on the the interface because it was like this, right? So I think I just missed it somehow. I mean, I don't know. Eh, I blame it on lead code. <laughs> but also, yeah, just return remember to mod. Of course, technically, uh, you you can just do mod here as well, right? Uh, but yeah. Um, I know that technically it adds the mod, so these things can kind of add up, but that should be okay. It doesn't, you know. How did I use this test case? Put it here, okay. Eh, very silly. I mean, and of course, you can also uh, just try like a really big number, right? Uh, so something like this, and then, uh, what is it? Uh, sorry, friends, I'm a little bit rusty slash uh, just got up the, the ship, the, the airplane. <laughs> So I'm just like a little bit nonsensible, not unreasonable. But yeah. Oh, if it's too slow, then I'll be a little bit sad. Uh, I mean, I didn't really pay, pay attention to performance, but sometimes lead code is stupid with performance, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it basically it's because we're doing too much mod, which is kind of, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, right? Um, how do I want to work? Uh, Maybe this is fine. I don't know. It's probably still too slow, but I wonder if it's. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it should. Eh. But you don't want to do too much mod. But okay, fine. We don't have to do mod. We can just do. Um, yeah, just maybe just here, right? So if. Maybe something like that. And this is just optimizing for lead code because right now we're not changing anything with complexity or anything like that. Um, maybe I have to pay a little bit more attention. Clearly, this is too slow still, huh? That is silly, actually. And this is actually slow a little bit. Uh, hmm. Oh, hmm. I guess we don't change A and B, that's why. Eh. This is just so silly. Because this is like not that interesting. Um, I mean, that's the only thing that might matter. Does this take a long time? I mean, it takes a long time for a lead code to load, but it doesn't tell me. Oh, this takes two seconds, huh? So maybe that is a little bit bad. Hmm. Hmm. Because it shouldn't matter. I mean, we can definitely write it the, the other way. But 10 to the... F this is only 10 to the 5th times 26 is 2.6 million, right? So it's like not that bad. But a lot of mods may be a little bit sad. But but uh, yeah, maybe we can write something like... Mm. Uh, I mean, we don't save that much time even, right? So I don't know. Uh huh. I'm gonna YOLO submit, but uh, am I being silly? Maybe I am. Hmm. I mean, maybe I am by I um. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, today I'm just being a little bit lazy. I think. Uh, maybe maybe it's because we're doing counter instead. Uh, I, I guess we have to optimize it out. But like I said, this is a very lead code sp specific thing so I, I don't know what to say other than that lead code is silly right so then you can do something like that right so then now nf of uh zero do 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 uh oh uh do 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 uh oops how does that go one Right, and then now, um, so there's a B, right? So if I is equal to 25, then N of, of 1 also, do, 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 right? And th but then now we can do, uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, this isn't quite right because we have to uh, 
get the S, but I just want to see for performance reasons. Oh, right. Uh, I just want to see like the, the timing more than, you know, because that's just a fold of I'm lazy to write it. So this is like twice as fast, so I think we're okay. All right. Yeah, this is very silly though. Uh, an S, F of. Like it doesn't really like no one's learning that much here. Maybe I don't know. Except for the first time you do it, I don't know. We'll see if this is good enough. Uh, maybe I should have done it that way though. Yeah, I was just being lazy with the the frequency table, but it's still uh, a little bit like yeah. I don't know. Like I'm not. Eh, I don't care that much about it to be honest. But oh, uh, I did it during the contest too. It seems like so that would be very sad. And during the contest, I did the same thing. It seems like. Um, yeah, that's why I don't do lead code contests anymore because I do this manually and it's just a silly five minutes penalty. Um, but uh, but penny even slower today. Um, hmm. yeah, maybe because of the mod twenty six. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess that is eh, okay. I guess that is double the mods or whatever. Um, eh, okay. I don't know. That is all I have for today, though. Not a useful like. I think if you get the core idea of the transformation, this is a, a fun problem to learn. All the other stuff is just very legal specific. I don't know why they they make it so annoying. Like no one is learning from this, and it's not like there's a r random crazy algorithm maybe there is i don't know but yeah um we'll see if they give us the, the the harder version of this tomorrow and if they do then i'll go over that then but today all you have to figure out is that you know count the number of characters and that's the only thing you have to keep track of anyway that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye